I'm the Robert A. Pritzker Assistant Curator for Meteoritics and Polar Studies, Philip Heck, and uh, I'm the curator in charge of the Meteorite and Physical Geology Collection. And today is a very special day for us at the Robert A. Pritzker Center. We received uh, pieces of the Russian meteorite that hit Earth on February 15. This was a big event. It was a, one of the biggest events. It's a 100-year-plus event and uh, it affected thousands of people. It made the headlines worldwide for many days. And one very important thing with this donation, it is a very, it's relatively short after the event, so this, these pieces are very pristine. Um, what we know already, this meteorite is an ordinary chondrite with low metal, low iron content. It's a so-called LL chondrite. The LL stands for low iron, low metal. And um, by studying this meteorite, we are hoping to learn about the collisional history of the parent body. When did it leave its parent body? When did the parent body in the earlier times experience major impacts? And then this will help in the long term determine what effect it had on Earth or on other planets. Hi, I'm Terry Boudreau, and I'm on the collection committee at the Field Museum. And uh, I'm a donor of uh, meteorites and fossils. I've donated uh, 40 meteorites so far to the Field Museum, as told today. And um, the latest meteorite uh, is the Chelyabinsk meteorite. Roughly two months ago, this was on the other side of Mars. So what you're looking at was in space, and it's part of another planet. And I can't emphasize enough how cool that is. Uh, I think I've been working with the field now for about 15 years. I believe the field does so much fantastic science for the world, uh, not only the Chicago community, but for the world. This, they have world-class facilities, world-class uh, equipment, world-class scientists that work here. And uh, for me, it's really important that they get this information, these pieces, as soon as possible. My name is Jim Holstein. I'm the collection manager for meteorites and mineralogy at the Field Museum. And it's my job to catalog and to number and photograph all of these specimens that we received. So we're going to add these to our collection of over 7,000 meteorites. Uh, we have one of the largest collections in the world, the fourth largest collection in fact. We're a repository of many different types of specimens and what we, uh, what we do then is that we loan these specimens out to various institutions, museums, and university, universities for scientific research. So for example, for meteorites, we are one of the go-to places in the world for meteorites. So scientists asking a certain question uh, about planetary bodies or a certain mineral can look to us for meteorites uh, that they can use to answer these questions. So to have a donor like Terry Boudreau donating to our collection, enriching it, increasing it by numbers is very important to us. Uh, they may find new minerals in this meteorite, things that have never been found on Earth. Uh, so there's a, the, until the scientists get a chance to study this, we really don't know what kind of secrets this might unlock.